some hit. Oh. You reminds me of my Nana, John. Oh, hammer time! Welcome to Wipeout. I've never seen a single episode of the television show this game is based on, but it's probably very painful to participate in. And I say that not because of the giant pendulums or the the big balls, but because if the real thing is anything like this video game adaptation, well, painful probably understates the physical and mental displeasure it precipitates. This is Wipeout in the Zone for the Xbox 360. Oh, he has a huge Wipeout on our copycat. Wipeout in the Zone is a Kinect game based on the ABC game show Wipeout an American version of the obstacle course shows that are so popular on Japanese television. The game takes players through three rounds of ridiculous physical challenges, of which there are a lot in this game. And like the show, the last one is a perilous, laser-filled wipeout zone. But again, only three rounds. I mean, Sounds pretty thin, huh? Yeah, it does, and unfortunately, that's about all there is to wipe out in the zone. You can go through those three rounds alone, or with up to three of your friends. That's about it. I mean, you can count the practice mode if you want, but really, that seems like grasping at straws. Oh, and snags a rank? Way to keep your eye on the prize, player. Oh, and snags a rank? Way to keep your eye on the... Oh, now that is a shellacking. So there isn't much content in Wipeout in the Zone, but you can't say the same for its implementation of motion. This game is a genuine workout, as everything your avatar does is dependent upon you doing it yourself. So running, jumping, ducking, this game uses as much motion as possible. So really, you have like complete control of your avatar, which does sound interesting in theory, but in practice... Ugh, things fall into the water with an ugly, limbs-flailing splash. Ooh, he did not like that one. This is wipe! The real problem with Wipeout in the zone isn't its lack of content or anything like that. It's that the game just doesn't work very well. For all the control you have over your character, it doesn't do much good when the responsiveness is so poor. The game is maddeningly inconsistent with picking up your motions, and there's also some serious lag involved. You jump, but evidently your avatar thinks now means uh, in a few seconds or whenever the hell I feel like it. The gameplay doesn't help much either. I tried repeatedly to clear the big balls to absolutely no avail, but when I gave up and just stood there, the game accidentally knocked me back into the obstacle, I happened to bounce through on pure luck. So basically, trying doesn't work, but standing still and watching it happen does. I mean, come on, are you f***ing kidding me? If you're looking for a game that'll have you and your friends jumping around like morons, well, this game does that. If functionality isn't a concern for you and the sheer entertainment value of watching your sweaty buddies fall all over your living room is what you're looking for, well, Wipeout in the Zone will deliver. Of course, in that case, so would a Foreigner album. So, you know, choose wisely, because this game is as cold as ice.